Well, I think it's time for you and I to get to know each other just a little bit better. It's been about a year since I started doing videos on YouTube. I've been doing them for quite a bit longer on Facebook and other social medias. For the, those of you who have been following me for a while, I already know that. But since we started this journey on YouTube together, I haven't really showed or shared a lot of my own personal pens. So today is going to be the first part of a new series called My Personal Collection. We're gonna, I'm going to try to do a few of these coming here soon as a build up to our 100th video on YouTube. So we're going to try to do something special for that. Maybe we'll have some giveaways or something. And I'm not quite sure yet. But we're all in the house. So I figured why not keep bringing you fresh content. And we can get to know each other a little bit better. And I'm going to share with you my personal paper made collection. These are the ones I don't put up for sale on eBay. I have a lot more paper mates that I have a whole bunch on eBay. And a whole bunch to list still. But these are my personal ones that I don't get rid of. We have a big case here full, a salesman sample set here, and another salesman sample set. And I have a whole bunch of literature and other paper made stuff, but these are what I consider my personal collection. So let's open these up and take a gander. We got three options to start with in the paper made collection. If you've been following me for a while, you may have actually seen this salesman sample set. So, we're going to wait a little bit on that, and we're not going to spend too much time on this one. If you haven't seen this salesman sample set, and I know you guys want to see this first. But this, and, oh, by the way, I must point out, I really like this case a lot. It's an old Sanford case, business to business. We got a front pocket, a little snap strap so you can really load that bad boy up. And it has this little mark center as I store it like that. It's probably not the brightest idea. And this, this is a nice little leather case. But so we're just going to start with this first and just cruise through it. And this is a nice little travel salesman sample case. Nice hard plastic case. And we open this up. And all the different models all lined up. Real nice display. You got the Papermate Flex Grips here that are real comfortable in the hand. They got a nice texture to them. With all the different advertising. The first one here is Ulrike. We have Xerox, Prodigy, Saab, Bank One. And this one here is your Papermate Flare. And we have your Epic, and that is the Cartoon Network design. You get your Dyna Grips, right here with the Red Dog, the Burlington Air Express, and this one I really like a lot. This Dyna Grip is a demonstrator, and it's clear so you can see how it operates. Sleek looking pen. I really like the Dyna Grip. They have a nice feel, good weight. And then last in this salesman sample is the profile. And this one has Canon on the barrel. Alright. We're gonna go on this up here. And we're gonna go on to the case. Let me know which of my personal pens are your favorite. And let me know if you have any of these in your collection, why you got them, and why you love them. Then after we go through this, we'll finish off with a quick overlook of this salesman sample set. There she is, my Papermate collection. Not tons, but we have some good looking pens in here. 
before we get started looking at my personal paper mate collection I just want to say thanks for taking the time to tune into our channel and I hope you enjoy looking at my pens because I know I enjoy sharing them with you and for those of you that don't know me hello triple B it's nice to meet you and I look forward to getting to know you on this pen venture first up let's look at the dynagrips up here and the, the first one is a nice stainless steel version with chrome trim real good looking pen nice weight nice click and I really like these dynagrips quite a bit I'm not going to stick everyone back in. We'll do that after I shut the cameras off just to save on time. Nice green pattern here. I'm not sure what it's called, but I really like it. And that one made the personal collection. And we have two blacks. If we have a bunch of the same one, I'm not going to pull everyone out. But this one here, I notice that... The hearts, the hearts there are in different spots and this one has a blue top and this one has a black top. This may not be significant but I thought that was kind of unique. Plus I like both the colors on that. And then next to that, the clip changes because this model later on becomes a Sanford. And they remove this paper mate logo and that becomes the Sanford logo. But I, I don't have any of the Sanfords in here, but I have seen them like that. And they did the same thing with the PhD and the three in one PhD switched them from paper mate to Sanford. Um, I found what this model is that re that's next. It's very close to the ad mate. I think it might be the, the power. PowerPoint or something. I'm I'm not sure, or I, I'm not sure what it is. But I, I did identify it once, but I have forgotten what it is called. But I really like the colors, especially that turquoise blue. And you have the gray, the white, and next to these, I like these ones a lot. I believe these are the Malibu. Um, there's a few paper made some of these vintage ones. I don't know the best. I don't get a lot of them. But I have been able to ID most of these pens in my case. And these ones are just beautiful. One's a, this one's a pencil. And this one is your ballpoint. Let me know which one of those is your favorite. Let me hold those still for you. And if you know what they're called, I'd love to hear it. So I know we got some paper mate fans out there. Next, how about we move down and take a look at the paper mate profiles. A favorite of mine, and I know a favorite of many of you. My paper mate profiles, I mean, have slim and regular, but unfortunately, I don't have any huskies. Earlier in a paper mate video, I got a big haul of them, and I thought a few were huskies, but I was wrong. And I learned this really useful trick to identify the paper mate profiles from this lady. And behind the clip on each one, there's a number. The, the slims that you have here, the slims have a one behind the clip. The regular over here, they have a number two behind the clip. And then the Huskies have a number three. And it's about right there. And I didn't know this before. And I just thought these regular ones were rather big. But they were just regular. They weren't the Huskies. So I thought that was kind of neat. And hopefully that will save you guys some troubles IDing them. And make life a little easier. And here is my... Texaco Here is my Texaco paper mate profile Salesman sample and it also says PowerPoint regular on it by paper mate So I thought that was pretty slick looking pen. I had to add that one to my personal collection 
I've had a few, few people make me offers on that one, but I really don't want to sell it. Alright, let's move on over. Oh no. Take a look at the other side. Next, we have the Paper Mate Holidays, which are a favorite of mine. I really like the, the V clip here, the style of them. Uh, they're a little lighter than my liking, but I just really like the design a lot. Almost like a tornado design, real fat at the top and then goes down thin towards the point. And next to the black one, we have it in gray. Yeah, I can dig those. And next to that, um, forgot what model it is, but I believe it's like one of the first Papermate models. And it's got lined cap, lines across the clip, double heart. Um, it'd be really useful if you want to tell me what this is called. But otherwise, I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. But yeah, these are in my personal collection. Great pens. And this one is also the same design. Except it don't, I might have came a little later. Don't have the line clips and this one's obviously plastic. You have all plastic plastic, metal cap, and then all metal variants. And here, I haven't ID'd these ones yet. I don't know if I've seen them, but I really like the mechanism here. I really like the mechanism on these. And you push the top, and to deactivate the pen you push right here above the clip cool design real sleek and I have that one in black and in green here we have a matte black and gold trim paper mate it's a hard set pop out of the clip they're a black plastic uh, I'm not sure the model but I thought it was really cool it reminded me of the Parker classic um, put that in there. I had to keep it. Next, we have the Admate. I got three colors in here: gray, black, and white. And often, I like to put one of the salesman samples with the pens, so that way, if I forget what they're called, I can always go back to my books and look them up. Same reason I keep backup salesman samples and catalogs around, because I can't remember everything at all times so it's nice to have those things for references next we go here we have the Dynagrip oh pardon me the Dynagrip Plus and that is in the row below this so I think we should just go ahead and adjust the camera so you can see this I really dig this Dynagrip nice Transparent design reminds me of blueberries. Tasty. I love the texture grip. I like the texture grip better than the smooth grip, like the previous pen has. I really like that one. Next, we have the Paper Mate Contour. Good looking pen. Then we have the Comfort Mate, Paper Mate Flare, or this is often off. Oh, this one's the Guard Flare, and so there's different flares. We have your Paper Mate Stick Pen, and then your Flex Grip. And I'm not sure what this one is. It's all stainless steel. Pull that out a little bit better. It's so all stainless steel, it's a real nice clip. Some little hearts that pop over here in plastic. Had this black design that went up the pen, but it's faded a little bit. But I really like that design a lot. I've had people make offers on it, but I don't know what it's called yet, and I ain't selling it. It's the only one I've seen like it. So I got I know you guys want to know what my favorites are. Well my favorite writer has to be the paper mate profile very close to the jotter 
good workhorse pen. I really like the look, and I often have battles on which pen I like better, but it always comes down to the jotter. So they just have so many more variants and styles, special editions, but I do like the Papermate profile a lot. And that is my favorite writer. As for aesthetics, I'm going vintage all the way. I really like the Paper Mate Holidays a lot. Right here. And I really like what I believe to be called the Capri. The, the first year style. Which might not be the first year. Let me know if you, you know. I'm, th I'm thinking this is one of the earlier Paper Mate ball points here. Right here in the middle. And then I also like this style a lot. So, yeah, I really like the early Paper Mates a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look. Oh, oh. Almost did that. Let's grab the salesman sample. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this over the top of these. I'm going to pop this bad boy open. Zoom out. And we're inside the salesman sample set. A nice little image here, some paper to test your pens. Over on the side is just a little bit about the new paper mate. Then you open her up. Starts off with the flex grip. The ones on the caps, and these ones are button actuated. And you have some more flex grips. Then you come over here, and then you have the contours, the profile, and here we have the ad mates, and there's still yet another page. Uh, in the back here, we have your stick pens, your ultra flare, and your highlighter. And if you want to see more of this salesman sample, there is already a video posted on our page with that. So feel free to give it a gander. So as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my personal Papermate pen collection. I don't have the most yet, but I think I'm off to a good start. And I have a Papermate fountain pen or two. But I don't know where they're at, so they're not in here yet. But yeah, not too shabby. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all keep it real. Ch-ch-ch-ch-chow, man.